Boost! Boost! Boost, I love you guys. I love everybody who came here. I'm doing these rare events, traveling around and there's usually like 40 people or something, you know? It's, it's still underground, guys. Next year or something, sometime, I don't know when it's gonna happen, this shit's gonna hit the fan. And then there's gonna be stadiums full of you crazy frickers. I really saw some nice kids out there. Nice people, more, I wish really more dads would come out to my readings. I need some fucking dads to come out. One of the best things I ever tweeted, one of the most valuable things on my Twitter, question of the day, what's your dad's phone number? And it couldn't have been done better because really, I got so many dad phone numbers in my phone now, and well, anytime I come to these cities, I can truly just hit up any dads I want. Really, any dads out there, they're mine. I got them. Huh. I always wanted to do something great. When I was like, and it feels like an asshole ego thing to say that. Like, I always was destined to be great. But it's like, not everybody wants to be in the spotlight. Not everybody has like big ambitions. Um, but I always have. And, but it's always been driven by wanting to inspire other people. Like, when I was in a band in high school, I did this show on the beach, and I remember after the show, this younger kid who might have been like 12 years old came up to me and said like, you guys were awesome! And that was like, yes. Truly freaking YOLO, truly YOLO. This is the true value of YOLO. A lot of people think YOLO is a little fun and jokes. A lot of people think YOLO is about getting your frick on, you know? Sometimes it is. Sometimes you gotta get your true frick on, and that's what YOLO's about. YOLO's about living your life. YOLO's about truly being alive while you are alive. You ever think about when you're gonna die? What do you think of when you're gonna die? I think about how I wanna hug people, you know? That I wanna hold people near me. Frick, I'm truly fricked up. I'm, yo, I'm truly fricked. You think you're fricked? You know, you think you're truly fricked? You're telling me that you think you're truly fricked. You know, I'm a little punk ass little fricker. Yeah. I know Drake told me all about how he likes getting pooped on and taking pics of it on photo booth on his MacBook. Drake doesn't have a MacBook. He has a Dell. And that's why I'm better than Drake. Drake needs to get his shit in line though. Because I literally will punch Drake if he wants it. Because I, I wouldn't do it without his consent. And so like I've always wanted to be sort of a leader and inspire other people and like be great. Um, and so like I'm really happy that I'm doing that, I guess, uh, to whatever degree I am, and I'm gonna keep doing it as much as I can. Take that! Woo! 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 Take that! Woo! Truly. I'm fricked up. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for being a person. Oh my god. I'm, I, I, I truly think I'm, I, 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 I think I'm fricked for life. It's not a fucking joke. It's my life. I have to go with my heart. Always follow your dreams. Always. <laughs> I just thought of that in the same, like, in the same, like, I was basic, like, I was like, Walmart, always low prices, always. I grew up with Walmart in my life. They were rolling back prices all over the store. I couldn't stop.